As Father said uh, at the beginning, before Mass, uh, we always start Mass in, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I ask you, how many times have you done that? <laughs> Show me with your fingers and your toes. <laughs> uh, a lot, right? Because it is part of our faith, right? We believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we are baptized in the name of God. In all seven sacraments, we, we invoke the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And uh, when we um, profess our faith, the Apostles' Creed, we say that we believe in one God, right? And one Lord and the Holy Spirit, right? So by um, admitting that we believe in the great mystery of God, um, we, we are uh, admitting that we um, <coughs> believe in this great mystery of how God created and how God redeemed and how God sustained us and the world even today. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Spirit. In, a, in the first um, reading from the book of Exodus, uh, God proclaims uh, his name and who he is to Moses. Can you imagine how Moses felt being in the presence of God and God talking to him and telling him who he is. And he reveals that he is a, a God, a merciful God, a, uh, a loving God, a kind and faithful God. So <coughs> do you see those qualities in mothers and in, in fathers too, right? So, um, the song today is, is just a little part of chapter 3 in the book of Daniel. And it's a, a hymn of praise to, to this God, to our God. And uh, I invite you to read the whole chapter when you had a chance this week so that you can see where that little part that you heard today comes from. There is this wonderful story that, um, that it tells about... Um, these uh, three martyr, martyrs that um, were praising God. Uh, today, the readings talk also about relationships. And in the first reading, we saw how um, the relationship between the Israelites and God was broken, right? And Moses was trying to mend this relationship by pleading to God to not abandon them, to be with, to continue to be with them. And um, in, the, in the second letter uh, to the Corinthians, in the second reading, Paul encourages the community to live in peace and harmony and in love. And uh, it, it applies to us today that we should strive, we should try to, to live in harmony with each other and harmony. How is our relationship with the Holy Trinity? How is our relationship with God in uh, Jesus and uh, the Holy Spirit in uh, your personal relationships with one another in your family, in, at work, at school, in the community, here at church? So these readings uh, invite us to reflect on our own personal relationships. Right? So, the Holy Trinity is the perfect example of um, a harmonious, uh, loving relationship. And we should imitate, we should try to imitate this, this type of relationship with each other. Uh, as children of God, we're called to, to do that. And with forgiveness, with understanding, and with uh, patience and uh, compassion, we can do it. We can, uh, we can learn to forgive others so that we can live in peace. Because when we have uh, broken relationships and we, we hold grudges, it hurts us. And it's with us as long as we allow it. So we can change that. 
in uh, the, the scriptures invite us to change, to 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 mend broken <coughs> relationships. And you know that nowadays we we have many broken relationships, not only with each other but also between communities, between uh, the countries. <coughs> so so then we have wonderful readings today. Um, in the Gospel of John, we find one of the most profound verses in all scripture. It says that God so loved the world that God gave God's only Son so that everyone who believes in the Son might not perish, but might, leave, might have eternal life. And when you came in, I gave you one of these, and I want you to, to, to look at it in, a, in the blanks. Instead of saying world, I want you to say your name. And instead of saying everyone, I want you to say your name. Let's make it personal, okay? Let's read it, ready? It says, God so loved Jordan that God gave God's only son so that Jordan, who believes in the son, might not perish, but might have eternal life. So I want you to, to keep it and memorize it and, and use your name on it and make it personal. It's a very personal promise that God um, has uh, made for us and for the world. So, um, so this is the essence of our Christian faith, right? This, this little scripture. It's a very important scripture in the, in the Bible. So the scriptures today call us to reflect on our relationships with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and with each other within our family, within our community. So let's try to, to live in unity, in harmony, and in peace, um, and place our faith in Jesus and allow his grace to transform our lives. And may the love of the Father, the grace of the, of the Son, and the power of the Holy Spirit remain with you forever. Amen.